Hi there guys, welcome back to Dad Play Stuff and the Comprehensive Guide series for Damon X Machina. So before we start, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And today we're going to tackle Snatcher. Now Snatcher is a unique boss in the sense that when you first fight him in the scene that you see here, he doesn't actually act like a colossal immortal, he just acts like a runaway freight train. So the best way to defeat him is creep up destroy all the defences and basically just wail on the main body. It'll take you some time when you're doing this the first time around, your damage isn't going to be too high. So it's important to keep up with him. You can land on his, uh, his trailers after the respective missile launchers or guns are taken out. And if you get right up close to him you can pretty much just obliterate him as you see me doing here. In this part of the fight, there's not really much else to say. He doesn't have any noticeable weak points. It is literally just wailing on him until he stops and dealing with uh, the immortals and other crap that comes at you in the meantime. Now we move on to the real immortal fight. Snatcher is in a canyon on a railroad and it is your mission to take him out before he reaches a checkpoint. Now, if you do not damage him quick enough, he will get away and he will fail the mission. I believe it's about 25% damage you need to do to his main body before he will stop and basically engage you in combat. What he tends to do is come straight off the tracks and primarily his attacks are just charging attacks. He's not really that effective. There's really not much to say about him, if I'm honest. He launches missiles, fires bullets at you, that kind of crap, but he pretty much just charges about. The main thing to do with this boss fight, if I'm honest, is farm the stry arsenals that basically engage you after he comes off his rails. There's about six or seven of them off the top of my head, and it's a good way to farm some parts and some weapons if you don't have them already. So when he comes off the rails, pretty much just engage all the arsenals that come at you and then take out the boss. There's no real rush. I've not seen him go past the checkpoint after you've fought him at this point. So he's, he's not really a priority after he's finished his first stage. Now, he does have several weak points. The first is on the top of his main body, and that tends to only appear during and after he's done a big charge. So it's quite difficult to target. I recommend things like sniper rifles or something with long range, because quite often when it pops up, he's gone before you can get any real attacks on it. The next two weak points are at the very front of the, the train car. Now, it's difficult to hit these because usually when he faces you, he's about to ram you. So you're best essentially being in the air and shooting at him um, from the front angle. It's quite hard to get his weak points down, but if I'm honest, it doesn't really make a huge difference to doing damage to him. You're best off just laying into him as hard as you can and staying off of the, the ground and just hitting them from just a slight distance in the air, if I'm honest. There's not really much else to say about Snatcher. He's just a, a run and gun fight. You just burn him down as quickly as possible. And if you want to get the strides and arsenal parts, feel free to do it. So once this clip is ended, we'll move on to the blueprints. I will say there is only one, so there's not much to say about that as well. He's hopefully going to get a bit more um, complex when some of the DLC comes out. I hope they maybe add like a massive railgun to the top of him or something to make him a bit more competitive. He's quite an easy boss fight.
Now, the blueprint that you get from Snatcher is the OAW AM65 Riot Zero. It's basically a Nuller missile launcher, and I'll be honest, it's, it's quite decent uh, in terms of damage. Um, it has some issues with tracking and things like that, so if you're going up against smaller, faster targets, it misses a hell of a lot. Um, arsenals, it doesn't seem to do very well at, so it, it does have that problem. But bigger targets, it will hit and hit hard. Your stationary gun emplacements especially, um, and your big colossal immortals, it's gonna gonna do some decent damage to them. But I, I don't think it's going to have a huge amount of use in things like PvP. It's going to be one of those weapons that, yeah, you can use in co-op, but you're going to be using it mainly on the big boys rather than anything else. The big problem with it as well is while you've got all the little guys flying about, it tends to trace them opposed to the target that you actually want. So if you're looking down and targeting one of the big guys, it'll still go after the small targets like the Stryer, Glimmers and stuff like that. So that could be problematic in its use as well. Overall, I, I think there's better missile launchers out there than this one, uh, but it does do some decent damage if you're targeting something big. So that was the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content like this, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. The comments would really help, the more feedback you guys give, the better my videos should essentially get, because I'll find out what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.